Yo, what is up, bros? This is Boomerang back with World Conquer 4 Vanilla version. Gonna be throwing down a full episode. Have not done one of these for a while. Here are my generals, in case you have forgotten. Still have not got them fully upgraded. Not even close. I think Guderian's the closest I've got to being fully upgraded. Anyways, I've decided to go Germany, 1943. Alright bros, I'm cranking this video speed up. We're gonna be throwing Lieb up north to help out with Moscow. Nimitz, throw down Manstein, Rokoskovsky, Konev, Rundstedt there to head out to the US and take out UK. Rommel, in Africa, and Guderian to help take out Stalingrad. That is the plan. See how many rounds it takes us to get this done. I do remember, although it's been a long ass time since I played Germany 43, I do remember um, and it would have been when it first came out because I remember I played 39 Germany and then I played uh, I think the Soviets 39 and then I played Germany 43. So right when it just came out. Uh, I guess it's the same as World Conqueror 3. You'd think 43 would be a lot faster than 39. It's, it's really not that much faster. You'd be like, oh, well, I got France and uh, I got a huge portion of the Soviet Union and I got a large portion of Africa. This will go quick. Nope. We got our one tiger to take out the whole of the Middle East. Good luck. Godspeed. All right, round one. Round one and done. Let's go ahead and throw down a Libby boy. He's on Moscow duties. With Walmart Guderian. I like Nimitz. He was a good purchase. Most of the time, naval generals are pretty worthless. Conquests are pretty worthless. Campaigns sometimes are pretty helpful. Like, I bought Nimitz uh, specifically for the final base mission. Threw rumor on him. And who was the, the very last base that would have been all the way to the right? Um, was that... Um, I think Rokoskovsky said on there. But anyways, he was a pain in the ass, I'm sure. You all remember that. I think it was Rokoskowski. Anyways. Bought Nimitz. Threw, I think, I think I got level 3 rumor on him. Made the final base easy. I just pulled Nimitz up. Let loose. Boom, done. The final base was pretty hard, surprisingly. That is, unless you got Nimitz. Oh, 
I'm gonna sneak these bros north more. Rokoskowski will handle the actual taking of London, I think. Look at De Gaulle back there hiding. He's, just, he's like, you guys, you go and handle that. I left the oven on. I'll be right back. <laughs> Around number four. Moscow is left completely open. Weird flex. Siege of Leningrad. Going as planned this time around. God, do you guys remember? Every time, every time I have even the smallest of naval battle, I remember playing Germany 1939 with no tech level and no generals. And the god-awful naval circle jerk that was occurring that I couldn't even make it out of the Baltic Sea to like, I don't know, episode 4, 5, 6... So today, bros, as I'm as I'm making this video as we speak, it is 1:55. My Kansas City Chiefs play at 3:30 against the Indianapolis Colts. By the time this goes live on my channel, the game will probably just about be over. And I will either be very happy or I will be very pissed off. The outcome of that game probably predicts if there's another video today after this one. Actually, that would be three because I got one up this morning. The one I put up the, this morning with the deuce I meant to put up last night. But I got tired and fell asleep. Came to the wrong hood, bro. All right, De Gaulle. All your bros are gone. You're up next.
Throw down, Mainstein. He's just gonna go right to the U.S. We're trying to get this done in as few of rounds as possible. Meaning I'll be using some air power when my when my economy gets good enough. I'm not gonna shy away from some some air power. Oh, Walmart Rommel. All right, there's a there's an overview. Round number seven. The U.S. is already trying to come and screw stuff up. We'll send him... Probably just go with Manstein. Oh! De Gaulle goes down. He fought bravely, De Gaulle. As bravely as a De Gaulle could fight. Which meant running and hiding. was a very de Gaulle tactic. Nice. Damn, Guderian going off. Round number eight. We gotta clear the waterways for our landings in the US. Actual, actually, probably landings in Canada. It's usually where I land. It seems, to, seems like you take a lot less damage landing further north and south. And Rommel, since everything is going so well. In Africa, he's just gonna swing over to, uh, swing by maybe like Brazil with a quick stop in Cuba. I mean, it's on his way. He wants some, some nice expensive Cuban cigars. Round number nine. And I don't even have a guess as to how long this might take. Boom! Moscow goes down. Oh, there we go. Rogoskowski going off. He decided to join Team Germany because of... Well, you probably already know. Some hot German Twitch thoughts. Not even Rokoskowski himself 
could defend against the allure of the Twitch thought. Somehow they captivate us all. How do they do it? Uh, Japan not doing too bad. I mean, they definitely didn't go off or anything, but at least they didn't lose a bunch of land. Boom! London goes down. Rakoskowski will be joining up with Konev, who also, guys, as you probably already know, joined the ranks of the Varmach because of German Twitch thoughts. As did Nimitz. I think uh, Twitch Thoughts are probably pretty underused as a weapon of warfare. I think a, a lot of people don't know how, how useful Twitch Thoughts can be in waging war. I mean, we're 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 in Egypt. I mean, let's not forget about Cleopatra, Mark Antony. That might have been like the first thought. Now we're on a roll. My boy Modell is going to handle New Delhi. Guderian's going to move on through China. I think World Conqueror 3, and it's not just because you can upgrade the cities now and have Air Force whenever you want it or anything. I think it was harder to go eastward out of Europe in World Conqueror 3 than it is World Conqueror 4. It just seems like the AI was a lot more aggressive. A oh, boom! A France goes down. Germany will incorporate the hot French twitch thoughts into our own. Third right getting thick. Noise and thick. Round number 12. Got Bannerheim following in along with us. He wants some of the glory. 
He helped out a little bit in Leningrad for us. I noticed you, bro. I noticed you helped out a little bit. No, they got no chance at stopping the landings. Oh! We might have to land a little bit further north than we had first anticipated. And then there was but one city remaining in Africa. Oh, boom! And then there was a but no cities remaining in Africa. I thought that was a three. Oh, boom! Egypt goes down. Uh, I'm gonna try to get the bros out of Africa over to India. I don't know if they'll make it before we're done. Usually they wouldn't. But they will. And just like that, mein Stein has landed. And the war, just with that right there, the war is over. Give it up. Give us your hot American Twitch thoughts. Along with your Canadian Twitch thoughts. You've got a few of them. You gotta take those damn Mongolians out. You don't let the Mongolians stick around. Yakurating territory is going to be in taken out with air power. No yaks were slaughtered during the filming of this. Damn. 
They led Rommel up. Poor Rommel. A round of 15! Modell struggling. Oh, damn. Will Rommel survive? Why did he go to Cuba? Many have asked. Was it a twitch thought? It's quite possibly. Maybe Rommel was about to defect the Wehrmacht for a hot, uh, Cuban thought. Twitch Cuban thought thingy. Nice. Right, I'm about, bros. I'm needing an intermission. Full episodes got me tired. Plus I didn't get much sleep last night. I was watching too many Twitch thoughts. I think let's finish up this round and then I'm going to take me a break. What am I going to do on the break you might ask? I'm going to get me a gigantic glass of tea and then watch some Twitch thoughts. Actually, I, I don't watch. I don't even watch Twitch. I just know some of the the female streamers from just mostly PewDiePie and like Alinity. Copyright strike him. Can we copyright strike PewDiePie? That's pretty good money. And then uh, who's the other one? Pokemon. And I know her from like Keemstar. All right, bros, oh, we are back. Or should I say, I am back. I took my break. Although I had planned on it only taking five or ten minutes, uh, it's been like four and a half hours now. I went ahead and watched that game I was talking about earlier. Watched my Kansas City Chiefs actually win a playoff game. Boom, UK. If you don't... um follow American football or you don't know anything about the Kansas City Chiefs it's like they have had a curse where no matter how good of team they have during the regular season when they reach the playoffs they lose their first game in fact that I think that's the first time I've ever watched them win a playoff game which is pretty shocking but they only need one more win and they are in the Super Bowl But, anyways, returning to our 1943 German conquest, boom, Mongolians go down. We had just landed in Canada, so we probably don't have much left. Should be pretty quick, whatever we do have left. All our generals we placed are alive, except, um, well, I think they all are, except Rommel's almost dead. He went to Cuba because of a hot Cuban twitch thought and got ambushed by Mexican, Cuban, and Brazilian uh, military units. Yep, there he is. Not looking too good. Maybe still pulls it out though. Maybe takes Havana. probably where the chick is. That's probably why he made it. That's probably why he's still alive. 
He just wanted to meet her. Mm. Boom! A Soviet Union goes down. Mm. I guess. I'll just move all my generals south. I don't know if they'll be able to help with anything or not. I at least need to get one of them into Australia, maybe. Help out a little bit. Although my economy is good enough now, I could probably just bomb anything I wanted. Bradley. Oh shit, it's Bradley and Deavers. Oh my god, it's the... It's the American Dream Team. Alright, now that we loosen it up some, let's go ahead and take it. See, not too much left. Start on the U.S. from two sides. Have this wrapped up in no time. He needs some help. Oh, Bradley ran. Bradley got scared. Deavers ran. Both of them ran. Bruh. Pump out some tier 3 artillery. Head south. Take out Rio. Start a very vicious North American air campaign. China should be out of this. Boom! Republic of China goes down. Oh my god, it's two Guderians. What does this even mean? Deavers is going down. Oh, Deavers made it. I thought it was just Deavers time. I don't remember Vancouver being that strong. I was going to use all my money. And then I still might not be able to take it. Barely.
Rommel just doesn't have it in him. Just can't get it done. Boom! Devers goes down. The dream team has been eradicated. The Bradley Devers dream team just didn't pan out. Wasn't as dreamy as everybody thought. Get off my beach. That's not good. I think if I just used him on New Delhi, from here on out, it'd probably be the last thing I was able to capture. He too sucky. Round 22. Oh my god. Rommel did it. Amazing job by Rommel. Oh, my Cuba goes down. Rommel with the revenge. Turns out the hot Cuban Twitch thought it was actually like a 70-year-old man baiting him to go to Cuba so the military could wreck him. Didn't work out the way they had anticipated. Nice. That just saved me so much time. I just hit the lottery right there. Finally, New Delhi Falls. Alright, we can hit everything now. Except. Except the one problem we're going to have. Probably the same problem I always have. Midway and Hawaii. We'll see if our Japanese allies actually go and take those. Usually they do not. I have faith in them this time around though. They'll do the right thing.
Boom! India goes down. And then there was four. Australia, Brazil, Mexico, actually there's five, Canada, and the U.S. I got just enough. Goring, I'm telling you. He's, he's a he's a military genius. Strategic master. Knows exactly how much money he needs to get the job done. Massive air campaign. Nobody could have pulled it off except for Garing. They're going to kill him. In fact, he probably he's gonna he's gonna die. He's probably dead. But we have missile technologies now, and we have a lot of industrial and plenty of technologies. And yes, Rommel died, and uh, the Mexican army takes DC. Go ahead and finish off Brazil while we're down here. Boom! Brazil goes down. And then, and then there was but four. Japan, I'm giving you a chance to take Midway and Hawaii. Show me that you're an actual help, unlike the real outcome of the war. Actually help out.
The end is near, bros. Especially for Canada. You've made it this far. Can you make it another... Boom! Canada goes down! Another... Boom! Mexico goes down! Like another five minutes? I don't know. Nothing yet on that front. I still have faith. Pull out a miracle. There, I'll even make it easier for you. It doesn't get much easier than that. The defenses are destroyed. The city's health is gone. Um, and... All you gotta do is go there. Just, just sail over there. Or you can, you can reach it from Tokyo. Boom! Australia goes down. And then there was but the U.S. Germany 1943. Quickly coming to an end. Bros, all you gotta do... I'm gonna, I'm, I better start... Heading that way because they're they're not gonna do it. It's up to you, one guy. Oh, he's almost dead. What happened, one guy? We need to clear out some aircraft carriers, I think. One guy is almost dead. If one guy dies, that's going to cost us like four more rounds. One guy must live. If we can just get one guy to Midway. Get wrecked. Please live, one guy. One guy lived. All he needs to do is make it one more round. One round and we won. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Actually, it's going to be another round because they have a port. If not for that valiant effort by one guy. Just amazing. Just damn amazing. What one guy can do. Boom! Victory with the S, obviously. Took us 34 rounds. Not bad, bros. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Brumanati out.